Hi everyone, Zoe here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm doing my Christmas favourites. Now I absolutely love Christmas, it's one of my favourite times of the year and I was really, really, really spoilt this year and really, really well looked after by the family. Now I've just got a pile of things here of everything that I've got. Um, I've got other things in my room as well but they are things that clients got me and they were mostly chocolates or biscuits and uh, one of my really lovely clients got me a notebook and key ring which was really really lovely but I thought I'd just show you what all the family got me so here we go hope you enjoy right so I'm gonna start with what my mum and her husband bought me I was really really thought they actually got me a Kindle Fire HDA which is a tablet this is just the box it's empty apart from the instructions but it actually looks like this oh please excuse my dirty fingerprints i haven't cleaned it and i forgot um it's just matte back black on the back which is really nice and just has amazon written across it and then when you just turn it on it looks like this but yeah i really like it i've got a kindle on there so i've been reading a few books and yeah i really really like this it's a lot smaller than my old tablet that i had i've got a samsung tablet i can't think which one it is but this is actually a lot smaller this is about the size of the screen of my other tablet and the other one has quite a bit more going around it so that was from my mum and her husband next from my mum and her husband i also got these bath bombs from lush this is the great balls of bicarb which the tube is evidently massive um in here you get Oh, it just smells so lovely as soon as you open it. And they package it really nicely. They put all the the little foamy bits in there to protect it. Um, in here you get an Abo bath bath bomb, a Blackberry bath bomb, a Honey Bee bath bomb, a Dragon's Egg bath bomb, and a Sex Bomb bath bomb. And all of them I've tried before and they're all really lovely. I'm going to open this and show you the bath bombs now. Right, so in here if I take all of this bubble wrap off okay first one you've got is this one which is just a white colour and it's just got speckle, specks of colour going in it that was really really lovely this one is the dragon's bath bomb this one has popping candy in it and it is the scent of lemon and bergamot which this is actually one of my favourites um, it's really fresh, really zingy really really nice when you have a nice relaxing bath right so the next one in here is the sex bath bomb and this one is a beautiful purple and pink it's not quite picking up on the camera okay no but yeah it's a really nice pink color and then it goes into like a two-tone purple and it's got a really pretty rose in the top this one's really really lovely as well this one i didn't have too long ago actually and this one doesn't say what it is let me just have a little look in the book see if it's in here Yes, it is right. This one is um, jasmine and ylang ylang. It's really nice, really uh, relaxing. You can really lay back and chill and just forget about everything. So, next we've got oh, the blackberry bath bomb. This one is this really, really pretty purple colour, which is lovely. And it just says, oh, yeah, just says bomb on the top. This one's lovely. It's obviously black currant. And I think, if I remember rightly from when I've had this one before, this actually has, I think it does, I think it has a message in the centre of it. So once it's all fizzled out, it's actually got a little uh, paper message in there which is really really nice right
the next one we have this tube's really really long so it takes me a while to get all the filling out ah next it's going all over my floor at the moment i've got bits and bobs all over my floor this one is the honeybee bath bomb and it is this beautiful yellow color it's a bit of blue on there as well which i think no it couldn't be off another one so it might have a bit of blue in it as well and it's got like this really nice like oatmeal kind of color running through it and that's really really nice that one is um let me have a little look That one is orange and bergamot. Um, it's also got gardenia in there. And it's really nice, really super relaxing. Really, really, really nice. I do actually love having bath bombs in my bath because to be fair, there's nothing better than just laying back in a bath and admittedly the water's a bit of a funny color. But um, it, it's really, really nice just to be able to lay back and just relax and just smell all these wonderful smells while you're in the bath. The last one in here, oh, it was off for another one, is the Avo Bath Bath Bomb. This one is one of my favorite ones. Again, this one is uh, bergamot, but it also, this one is lemongrass opposed to just lemon. And this one is this beautiful aqua color, which is absolutely gorgeous changes your water to the most beautiful colour you will ever see. So yeah, they are the bath bombs and I absolutely love them. I'm very grateful to my mum and Vinny for them. Um, yes, so that's them. Right, so continuing on with what mum and Vinny got me, they also bought me, for my stocking fillers, I got quite a few like sweet stocking fillers. So they got me a little tiny box of celebrations because I love chocolate and what girl doesn't so they got me them and um i can't remember if this was in my stocking filler or if they just bought me this as a present but um this year well last year i really got into uh reese's peanut butter cups and they found this reese's peanut butter snowman so i'm super excited to try this i haven't opened it yet purely because it is chocolate with a butter a peanut butter cream filling so I think it's going to be really, really sickly. So I'm kind of leaving this one till last. But I'm super excited to try it. And the snowman itself is ultra cute. So I'm I'm loving that. I'm really grateful to them for getting me that. My other stocking filler was a little bit different. Uh, the year before the last, actually, my mum and her husband bought me an electric toothbrush for Christmas. So um, this year they picked up, just put in my stocking filler, some um, new heads for my toothbrush, which I know is really random and it's not what most people want for Christmas. But um, yeah, this one's got two replacement heads in, which will come in handy because I don't really particularly like buying them myself because they're really expensive. So yeah, so they just picked them up because they knew that would be helpful and handy and it's something that I'd need. My next present is something that my mum and her husband saw while they were shopping in Norwich for Christmas presents. And they also got my sister one, but they got her a different one. Um, I really, really like, my, one of my favourite sweets is cola balls and I just love them. I just, everything about them is amazing. I just love chewy sweets or chocolate, anything like that. But cola balls are incredible. And my mum found this in a shop in Norwich which as you can see is a giant cola bottle and that is all edible. It, it, it weighs one kilogram which I will admit to you is quite heavy. As you can see it's it's quite big. Yes. So um, I haven't actually opened this yet because I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to eat it considering it's this big and um, about that thick I don't really know how I'm going to eat it without it going a bit too sticky so um I'm leaving this for now it's probably going to be one of the last things I get round to actually eating but um yeah I absolutely love it my sister got a, a jelly baby which is about the same size as this which is massive 
for a jelly baby. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I have no idea what shop she found it in, but she said that they'd done a lot of American candy and um, oversized sweets. And she saw this and thought I would love it. So she picked it up. Okay, the next one I've actually eaten all of was this box of chocolates from Hotel Chocolate. It comes in this nice little Christmassy sleeve, which is really lovely. And then inside you've just got this box. This is their Everything H box. 14 of our most iconic, a taste of all our chocolate genres. So as you can see, it is empty. If I can open it. I thoroughly enjoyed them. Uh, they did take me a little while to eat actually, because they're, they're quite sickly. But um, come to this little menu, which is ultra cute. And these are just the chocolates that you got inside of it. And there's loads to pick from, so that's 14. Uh, some of my favourites were the champagne one, uh, the caramel cheesecake, and the fudge sundae. They were all really nice. I really like the carrot cake one as well. That's really different. Yeah, so they were all really, really nice. I would um, definitely buy them as a gift for someone. Okay, next my mum got me this. I absolutely love pugs. I just find them the cutest things ever. So my mum actually found this in Tesco's while she was just doing her shopping. And it is this pug, which just sits on a stand. Its name is Edmund. And he is a solar panel light thing, which when I sit him on my windowsill, once he's had plenty of sun, he, uh, he waves at me. So his little hand goes back and forwards. So um, yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. Um, yeah, I love that. Just a little something, little, little gifts that you just get just to fill up presents. But yeah, that's what she got me. My last present from my mum and uh, her husband was this massive, well I think it's my last one because I can't entirely, I think I've got everything but I can't entirely remember, um, was this massive Yankee Candle gift set which, if any of you know me, this is a winner in all cases. Um, I love, love, love Yankee Candle. Um, they are one of my favourite brands of candles and as you all know, I love burning candle. I've just got candle burning just there. That one is uh, a Dolly Rocker candle from Lily Flame. They're really nice. They come in little tins. Um, but this was incredible. It is all Christmas scents so you just pull the sleeve off and it comes in this lovely box. Black with a little red interior on the sides. And then open the lid, and oh, it smells incredible. It opens into this gift set, which, as you can see, has a medium jar, a small jar, four votives, and two boxes of tea lights, which I love because I never buy the tea lights, so I've never tried one. So I'm really excited to try these, and hopefully, they will encourage me to buy them in the future. And the votives, I do have a couple of votives in my drawer that I keep all my Yankee candles in. Um, but I don't use them that often so I'm really excited to try these ones. Everything in this box came in a scent that I do not own, which is incredible because it's not very often you find that. So the medium jar I have already been burning. I was burning it after Christmas because I was just so excited. I was trying to hold out. I held out for about two days and then I just couldn't hold out anymore. I, like, I have to burn that candle. So it has been burnt. As you can tell, it is lower than it should be in the wick is burnt. But this one came in Christmas Eve and it just it smells incredible i can't describe it to you but it is amazing obviously they're all in fairly christmasy colors they're in like whites and reds and greens which i love i do love the medium jars i find them adorable i like all the sizes i love the large candles i love the small candles i love everything about yankee candle completely this candle will be on constant burn for christmases to come because i love it um i've probably burnt this four or five times since I've had it, which is unbelievable. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And then the small jar is in Winter Glow, which looks just like this, 
which is really cute. I do like these small jars because they're at, they're adorable. You can just place them somewhere, which is only a small face. This one is a lot fresher, I would say, but it's lovely. It's like a, a really, what I would describe as a really, really clean scent. I absolutely love it. Um, and I really like the white. It means it just goes anywhere. You can put it anywhere in the house. It really doesn't matter. There's no extortionate uh, interior change or anything. I love it. I just think it's perfect. I will be burning this definitely next year. For the votives, you get two of each. So you've got two different scents and there's two of them. So I will only pull out a cup, one of each. So you've got these two. So you've got Bundle Up and Cozy by the Fire. And Bundle Up is really nice. It's quite a... I don't know how to describe the smell. At first smell, it smells a bit manly, is how I would describe it. But it's really, really nice. I think that would be really nice to burn in uh, a votive holder. I've got quite a few over in my drawer again. Um, again, it's just something that I pick up. So I'm really excited to burn that one. And then Cozy by the Fire is quite a spicy smell. But I quite like it. Um, they usually tend to be the kind of things that I go for. And the votives are really cute. You just pop them into a votive holder, burn them, and they just melt away. It's really nice. So for the tea... For the tea lights, you've got them again in two different scents. You get 12 tea lights in each. They look just like this. You've got one pack in Christmas Eve and one pack in Christmas Cookie. Obviously, Christmas Eve I've already spoke about. I love it. I can't wait to use these. It's just going to be... Next year is going to be non-stop Christmas candles, I can already tell. I already burned them 24-7 at Christmas already. Now, it's just going to be a whole different ball game. Christmas Cookie... You can't really smell it through the packet. Let me just open them and I'll get one out and have a smell. I think I've smelt this one before. Oh, yes. This smells just like cookies. It's really buttery and creamy and... Sorry, I'm struggling to get one out. There we go. So they just look like this. They come in little plastic casing. The candle is just there. And then they just burn away. And yeah, that does smell just like exactly like cookies they're it's amazing i really do like this one they smell like um like sugar cookies that's how i would describe it. really buttery really sugary and yeah i just i can't wait to use these next year i also just remembered i also got another present from my mum and her husband which were a pair of pyjama bottoms from Next, which, as you already know, I absolutely love dogs and I love pugs. And they bought me these pyjama bottoms. I'm just going to have to stand on my bed so I can show you. These pyjama bottoms, which are super cool. They're really cosy. They're like this really soft, like, fleecy material, which is lovely. And, um, yeah, I absolutely adore them. They've got little pugs on. They've got Dalmatians, Douch Hounds. I love them. And I will admit they have been on constant wear in and out of the wash since Christmas. Uh, I just like coming home and put them on after I've been at work. They're just really nice and cosy and super comfortable. Hence why I'm wearing a jumper with them because I'm just at home chilling. So it's actually a day off today which is nice uh, another thing I got from my mum and her husband were these black converses I just have the all black ones they are a little bit messy because I've been wearing them to work and I've just just been out so they are a bit dirty but yeah I just have these ones um, they are actually in a size 7 that's why they're so big um, but I wear them every day to work and yeah my mum tends to buy me a pair every Christmas so yeah, I love these. Um, so moving on to what my sister got me. I only got a few presents from my sister because she spent quite a lot. So I'm going to start with my stocking filler from her. I have purposely not opened it because I wanted you to see it. Uh, it's a bit muddled up now. But she got me. She made me this adorable little package. So I'm going to open it now on camera for you to see. 
if I can undo the ribbon. There we go. Perfect. Right, so we've got it in this nice, cute little plastic bag. And then in here she's put two Lindor bears, which she knows I love, which is amazing, which looks like this. They're so adorable. And then in there with that, she's also put a Lindor melting moment, which is, again, another one of my favourite Christmas chocolates. I love all Christmas chocolates, but there are certain ones I will repeatedly buy if need be, shall we say. And then she put some body shop bits in here as well, which I love because I'm a massive lover of the body shop. I've just done a massive haul. It's literally, my phone is sitting on the box of all the stuff that has just arrived today. I will be doing a haul on it. It was all out of the sale, I think, apart from one thing. So I will be doing a haul so you can see what I've bought there. I love them. They're amazing. I adore the body shop. I love everything about them. And she's bought me this really cute little, how big is it? 30 mil hand cream from the body shop. And it's in coconut. And I haven't used this one before, but I'm super excited to try it. I love anything that smells of coconut. Um, so yeah, this should be exciting to use. And it is open, so I'm gonna have a smell. I'm gonna pop a little bit on my hand. Yes, that is amazing. It's just, they leave your hands feeling so soft as well. I've never had a hand cream that's been quite the same. But I absolutely love that. I can't wait to start using this. And then also in there, she put two other things from the body shop, which were these two bath fizzes. You've got one in Berry Bliss and one in Vanilla Delight. Which you can kind of just smell through the packaging, but that's the Vanilla Delight and that's the Berry Bliss. They're really cute. They're quite small. They're about that big. But um, I'm really excited to try them because I've never tried anything like this from the body shop. So yeah, I'm going to give them a go. Okay, then as my main present, she bought me three things. And my main one out of all of them was a Tom Tom. This is because in October this last year, I passed my driving test. And Nicole had always said to me, if you pass your, when you pass your driving test, I'm gonna buy you a sat nav either for Christmas or birthday, whichever one comes first, and Christmas came first. So she decided she would buy me a Tom Tom. This is what she got me. It's really nice. Um, I'm sure you've all seen a Tom Tom before, but if you haven't, it just looks like this. I haven't actually used it yet because I've not been anywhere to use it. So um, I'm excited to give that a try. But um, yes, she kindly bought me that, which was a lot more than we would normally spend on each other. But I'm very, very grateful and I'm hoping to get plenty of use out of it in the future. Next was to just go alongside that with, as my present. Um, she knows I'm a massive Disney fan. Over here on my bookcase, I have a massive collection of Disney DVDs and I like to collect as many as I can in the shiny covered ones and all the new releases I also buy even if I don't see them at cinema I go out and buy them I just love them so as a big Disney fan she wanted to get me a couple of DVDs to go towards my collection so she bought me these two and as you can see they're in these beautiful shiny cases which I love so we've got the Beauty and the Beast which I adore it's one it's one of my favourites. I, I find it hard to pick between which one would be my favourite, but this would be up there as one of my favourites. I love it. Um, I watched it the other night and it just made me remember how much I loved it. I will admit, I do sing along to it quite loudly. And then she also bought me Zootropolis, which I hadn't seen in the cinema, but it is now one of my top ranking ones. I would say I absolutely adore it. It's hilarious. Uh, the rabbit in it is brilliant and the fox is hilarious and I just love it. It's They are two really good presents for me because I will get endless amounts of use out of them because I will watch them and watch them and watch them again. So yeah, I think that's all that I got for Christmas. I hope that you all had a lovely Christmas. What did you get? If you let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas and I'll reply to as many as I can. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year and I will see you with more videos in 2017. Bye!